Channel What's good, Youngin Gang? It's Graham's Youngin and Lily, yours truly. Today, we are doing another relationship advice video for you guys. So, we're sitting here chilling. We decided to check some of y'all emails, and when I say y'all been hitting us up, y'all been hitting us lit. up. Yeah, y'all lit. Y'all been, y'all been hitting us up, but we're gonna try our best to get some advice out to you guys. We actually gonna do it a little different this time. <laughs> without the arguments, y'all. Yes, and without us putting our own relationship stuff into it, I'm gonna pick my five, and Eric is gonna pick her five. So, I'm gonna give my advice straight up to whomever, and Erica's gonna give her advice straight up to whomever. So that way, it don't start no arguments in the youngin' house. You know what I'm saying? We'll be boxing. We'll be boxing. I just bought some boxing gloves too for Bryce for uh, Christmas. Yeah. And they fresh in the box. We gonna get it popping. We gonna get it popping in here. So, let's, um, I screenshotted mine. We probably gonna have to go and find Erica's, but let me go to my first one. First one, um, I think this person wanted to be anonymous, but they are from Nassau, Bahamas, and she told me how to correctly pronounce Nassau because I said Nasu at first. And she was like, Grams had it right. Okay, Grams <laughs> had it right. Grams is always right, and I'm glad you stated that, sweetie. Grams is not always right. far in this relationship. Girl, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, she from Nassau. Nassau, baby, but all right. She from Nassau. <laughs> Nassau. No? I'm be down in some syllables She from Nassau, Bahamas. Okay. So, she said, this is going to sound terrible, but her and her ex been broken up for five years now. They're still very much involved in each other's lives, and they're still very much in love with each other. I'm trying... I want to try again with the relationship with her, but I know she's scared and doesn't want to. Oops. This may sound contradicting, but I just want to lose the feeling of want to be with her, but I don't know how. Yes, I've been in relationships since her, but feelings is still there. I need a route. The gay scene over here is whack, so find another companion who makes sense. It's slim to none. Thank you so much. You guys actually remind me a lot of me and my ex, and I love it. Stay happy and beautiful. Love you guys. Kisses. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I can definitely relate to the feeling that you're feeling as far as, like, y'all been broken up for a long time, and y'all are still in each other's lives. So, y'all are pretty much involved with each other, and... You know, that chemistry is still there. That bond is still there. So it makes you still be in love with that person. And the only thing you can do to not be in love with that person and want to pursue a relationship with them when you know good and well they don't want a relationship anymore is to remove them from your life. Or you have to just remove them for a certain amount of time until you fall out of love with them. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's going to be hard and it's probably going to feel lonely and you probably going to feel lonely but that's where it comes in that you got to find something that makes you happy and do things for yourself to ultimately make you fall more in love with yourself and that love for that person is not going to just like fade away but it's the love for you is going to overpower that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to separate yourself from that person and you got to separate everything that kind of reminded you of that person you got to separate it for for a while you know what i'm saying like uh yeah it's, it's hard it's easier said than done but you really got to separate separate it for a while and it'll get better it takes a lot of time and you say y'all been broken up for five years so y'all already been broken up for a long time clearly you've been able to be with other people but nobody's just been like that person and it's probably because you ain't let nobody be like that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't let nobody open up to you on that level because you still in love with that person. You gotta let that go. If it's, if you can't, if y'all both can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, then you gotta let it go. You can't keep living like that because you'll been to look back on your life and be like, damn, I wasted all this time when I could have been happily living my life. So yeah, you gotta let that go, okay? I love you. So here's number two. Number two is um, I'm not sure she wanna she want her name out there, so I'm gonna leave it anonymous. Yeah, we don't wanna mess safe. up no relationship. You just right. want advice. 
<laughs> but um, she's a stud, and she said she's been going out with this female for about two years. And when she first met her, the sex was so good. And every time she saw her, she thought she was so sexy to her. But now when I see her, I don't want her to touch me. We don't have sex or make love. She don't turn me on anymore. She used to dress nice, and now she don't please me. Please help me with this. I do want to be with her, but I'm just tired of talking to her about it. Well, so you're dealing with someone who's had who has swag meiosis. <laughs> no, I'm just like I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like. Um, I mean, if you're tired of talking to her about it, then put some action. Cause at the end of the day, action speaks louder than words. So you can tell somebody to do something to make you happy and to you know you could talk about the same thing all day to your face turn blue but i mean when y'all out shopping together i know you want to be with her right so when you i know y'all go shopping i know y'all go places when you out shopping with her pick out stuff tell her you know like, hey babe just you look good in this put this on try this da -da -da. you know start styling her yourself Make her up to who you want her to be if she's not everything because of her dress game. So, I mean, that's not hard. If you know you want to be with her, you can see yourself with her. Just, just put forth effort. It takes two to tangle. So, okay. Done deal. <laughs> well, I, I agree with that, baby. You do? Yeah. Um, Cause I ain't always that swag. It ain't even about the sweat, it's just that like sometimes people don't know what they be lacking because we can tend to get comfortable in a relationship. Yeah. So in order to spice it back up, you have to be like, like you know, I like you to talk to me, not at me, not make it seem like you bossing me. You hate when I make it seem like I'm bossing you. So instead you like, baby, damn, I love when you have this on or Yeah, compliments. Yeah, you on. know, damn baby, go put that on, you know, I like that or just something like that. Just go shopping for her. Yeah. She ain't got swag anymore. But sorry for cutting into your advice little thing. But no, you help spice it up a little bit, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next one is from someone that said, Hello, my name is MJ. This question is for Grams. Was it hard for you to come out in your household? If so, did you get any negative side talk or insults from your parents? Um... It wasn't hard because at the end of the day, I'm a very strong-minded person. So if I believe in something, I'm going to do it. If I know it's not going to cause you no harm in your life, I'm going to do whatever makes me happy. So, I mean, when I told my mom, she was mad, but she had to respect it because at that time, I was already, at a young age, I told her when I was like 13, and I already had a job at that time. I was working at the Wendy's, <laughs> flipping them burgers. But the pizza's done. So we'll talk about it. Hold on one second. second. Okay, sorry y'all. So yeah, I had to get the kids they food and stuff. But this part is for me, and it's from the same person, and it says, Lily, from a vlog you did months ago, you said you have been with men and so forth and ended up having children. Do you ever feel conflicted that you should be with men again because you cannot handle Graham's emotions or you deal with it because you know what relationship you in? And that's a good question because a lot of people don't ask me that question. Like somebody on Snapchat sent me that question not too long ago. Like do I ever think about being with men again or like can she drive me to being with men again basically is what y'all saying. Um, or the emotions of a woman. I don't think it's necessarily that. I think it's, it's just totally different in all the way around. Like I know what type of relationship I'm in. I know what to expect, what not to expect. And I know that dealing with her, she has feminine ways as well as like masculine ways. So I just had to learn, because we have been in a relationship so long, I had to learn how to deal with it. And you know, I had to learn the person that I'm with. So, it don't make me think that I should go be with a man because my girlfriend has a lot of emotions. I know I'm with a woman and I love being with a woman. Hold on. I ain't got no emotions, bro. <laughs> I 
Like, I'm hard, man. Like, I ain't never been no sucker, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she wish. But, yeah, so, I mean, question, I mean, you know who you with. And I guess that goes for, like, bisexual women or whatever. But, like, you are with who you're with. And if you're in love with that person, then you don't want nobody. So, I guess that was, that's what that is. No, somebody asked me a question about, um, like, how do I feel with Erica being shorter than me? <laughs> and does that, like sometimes fuck with me basically <laughs> and um the only time that it used to fuck with me Literally. is when i was extremely overweight and it just made me look like a barbarian over her but she's not just that much taller than me she like she got like three inches on me oh i mean i got like three inches on her so it's not too bad but the fact that i'm heavier and she's smaller as well as i'm taller and she's shorter it can sometimes be like, uh, hold up, baby. You know, I feel like a beast, you know, but it's, it's nothing that's going to affect the relationship. <laughs> oh, this, I like these, these questions right here. Okay. Um, she says she, I want to first off, first off, <laughs> I first want to say that I love y'all relationship. Y'all show the true beauty of lesbian partnership. Thank you. <laughs> she said, was there ever a time where either one of you lied to each other on more than one occasion, whether it was intentional or unintentional, to not hurt the other's feelings? If you have, how did you overcome that hurdle together to forgive, forget, and move on? Okay, Lily, you want to ask? You, you want me to ask it? You want me to answer your question? No, I'm go first. You go first, but I guess she wants us to answer this one together because we just went through a situation like this. You want to bring it up? We can bring it up. I don't care. We 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 here with y'all. Y'all know everything else about us, so it's cool. Okay, so the other night, since we talking about bringing it up, the other night we got into it real, real. So. So, 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 so bad so, that Erica so was gonna have to come and pack her stuff because I wanted to Lily, out again. excuse me. Oh, I got sorry. this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> but, um. Now they gonna think we dis dysfunctional for real, but. I mean, no, we not. We not, though. We but, just gonna keep it short, sweet, and cute. Okay. Unless you wanna bring out the No, juice, we just, I'm, we keeping it real with y'all, for real. But it be, it be a lot of talk. shit when people start judging us. I don't need no, don't, oh well, that's them. Okay, baby, go ahead. But the other night, mm -hmm. I went to go. I was on a hiatus. So. You quit doing that. What? You dropping your shoe. Okay, so last night. The other night. The other night, I, look, I know already. Right. The other night, I went to have a talk with some Friends. Some, one of your old friends. Well, friends. Thank you, Lily. Okay. Let me talk. Because you're going to be the one that's going to make yourself embarrass yourself. Okay. So, um, it's friends that Lily no longer gets along with. So, I was in the midst of having a conversation with them. Lily was calling me, and I answered. But I ain't answer because I was with friends that really are no longer cool with. So immediately, I looked at my phone while she was calling. I was like, I'm going to get back to her in a minute. This is after I saw that she had already called twice. So I'm like, I'm on the phone. I said, I'm on the phone. I really was there with them. But I said, I'm on the phone. So I'm going to call you in a minute. So she texts back, no, you better pick up the phone, da 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 spazzing, spazzing, spazzing. Knowing damn well, I was right there with them. I didn't know nothing. I'm not talking about you, let me explain. Oh, People would get what I'm trying to say, Lily, just because you up the you ain't All right. So, knowing damn well, I was right there with them. I told her I was on the phone. Just because the first thing that came to mind is because she know I'm these are people that she's not too fond of. So, 
I know immediately she was going to want to spaz when she find out who I was with. So immediately I just made up a lie. Unintentionally. But I know I was trying to avoid an argument in front of my friend. So we live with spazzing. But when I got home, I told her what really was. I was trying to keep going with the lie. I tried my best to keep going with it. But I'm the type of person I'd rather be honest with you because I'd rather curse you out. I mean, I'd rather get cursed out over something that I felt was right instead of being cursed out over something I know I did wrong. So I told her whatever she was mad. And I explained to her, I was trying to explain to her my thought process because automatically she gonna think about her personal experiences in the past when I just need her to understand my thought process and how I was trying my best to avoid having to argue while I was there with my friends. So, how did we get over it? We basically, you know, I finally have to explain to her over and over and over again that what my intentions were. I wasn't trying to lie to her on purpose. However, I was trying to avoid a situation within a situation. And she understood after a while. She still feels her way how she chooses to feel. So, mm -hmm. I can't say she forgot. She says she forgives. No, I was she just don't want it to happen again. Right. And if it happens again... Okay, but now it's your turn to answer the second part of the question. Because I know I asked what you're going to do if it happens again. <laughs> and nobody asks. Um, the second question. How do you keep the communication open with each other? But also be stern and put your foot down at times. Me? I just say how I feel. And if I stand 10 toes behind it, I'm gonna stand 10 toes behind it. Whether she respects it or not, if I feel this way, it, that's exactly how it's gonna be. Until you can prove otherwise that my way of thinking is completely wrong, which I'm also understanding. So if you can prove that what I was thinking was wrong, I'm gonna apologize for thinking something totally different. And I'm gonna thank you for helping me understand Your turn, baby. <laughs> no, these are your questions. You just cut me off from answering the last okay. question. Okay, and on. then my last question. They asked another question. They asked me a lot of questions. Y'all, you really want to know what's on my mind, don't you? Um, the next one is, lastly, I remember a vlog that you did, Grams. I believe you stated how you and Lily are two different people that hobby two different rules. That really stuck out to me. So how did you communicate that to one another in the beginning so that the both of you would respect and understand each other's boundaries? See, I, the things I've told her at the beginning, she don't remember. So when we're having arguments about something that I know I've already stated, my temper is a little bit short and my tolerant level is at zero because I'd be like, dang, I already stated this to you, Lily, a long time ago. I predicted, you know, we would have this outcome if you thought and the way you're thinking and not understanding where I'm coming from with a situation. So, we really, we handle stuff at the end. Like, I'll tell her something at the beginning, but she gotta actually live through it. She's the type of person she gotta learn by experience. She gotta understand you because she went through something. If she ain't go through it, she ain't gonna understand you. You agree, baby? That ain't my question I agree with. I'm just asking, am I lying on you? I'm just... Am I lying on you? No, I do learn by experience. I'm a hands-on type person. And then it's not necessarily like if I ain't went through something, I'm not going to understand you. I'm not going to feel where you're coming from because a lot of stuff is relatable. But um, to say the least, like me and Erica are just totally different when it comes to the way we handle things. Like she feel like she know everything and she feel like um, even if it's a situation that she'll be able to understand that you as a human being should be like, dang, well you should understand where I was coming from when I did what I did. 
No, I don't have to understand where you came from. I have to know that you made a choice and your choice affected me. So whether I understand it or not, the old me used to try to be like, yeah, I do understand where you're coming from. I understand the thought process you were going through and the mental state that you were in, but you still made a choice. And in that choice, you affected somebody who you love. So whether you understand or not, it's like sometimes, you know, she tries to take understanding to another level that I ain't too fond of. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much that. What, baby? You got some beef? Is this something on your Cause chest? you just really just shut me up earlier when I was finna get into. I forgot what the fuck I was. Cause finna you would have turned into a debate about something else. We were supposed to be answering people's questions. Yeah. Okay. So now we, how you was sounding was like you was sounding like a straight asshole. How? Let's play this back. Hold up. Anyways, next question. This one, this person wanted to be anonymous, but they said, "Let me get into this mess." So me and my fiance have known each other for ten years. And last year was a rough time for me. So I ended up moving in with him and his mother. At first, me and her was cool. Then once he proposed to me, she switched up. And she ain't and I ain't finna kiss no ass. So so-called mother-in-law or not. He was paying all the bills basically. Plus, we couldn't go out without her calling his phone at least five times. Which he would answer and it would piss me off. Then there were times when she would speak to me that she wouldn't speak to me or anything before I went to work. And when I would tell him about it, he would act like whatever. So recently we got our own place and we both work. I don't ask him for nothing at all. And she put that in big capital letters. So my B-Day was November the 8th and he kept telling me he was going to give me some hair. I was like, okay, cool. Just make sure you get it. And he didn't. Luckily, I already got my own shit because I don't <laughs> depend on nobody. Last night, I went through his phone and he's still paying her bills and getting her shit from Aaron's. When, the, when she works every single day and gets paid every single... Oh, I lost my place. Every... <laughs> She work every single day and get paid every single Friday. Then we stay like an hour away from her. But every time she call, he go running like a fool. But that ain't how it's about to be or something. Her man name is the same as his. That ain't all. Her man name is the same as his. I don't know what to do because I'm really tired of it all. The side eyes and the fake smiles from her sorry ass. Or no, she said from her ass. I'm sorry it got so long, but I was trying to type. And basically she was saying something like 180. Um, sound like you got you a mama's boy problem on your hands, baby. And in those situations, they can be really tough. <laughs> because you have to, um, baby, you chewing out in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that goes against to the brain. It's going on with that stimulating my mind, Craig. It sounds like you got a mama's part situation going on, but you're going to have to um, either figure out a way to get to communicate to him how it makes you feel that he's still paying all his mama bills, that he run every time his mama call, that you want a grown man and not a little boy, and that you are his priority now. You know, and especially since she's gonna be his wife. So it's definitely gonna be God, you, then mama, or whatever. So he gonna have to realize it's me or mama. Mama still can be there, mama still can get things that she need and stuff like that, but it gotta be boundaries to it. Because don't nobody wanna be with no overgrown child. So, yeah, that's all I can really say about that. You're going to have to set some boundaries and you're going to try to have to try to communicate with him as effectively as you can and as nice and calm as you can and run it by him in the sexiest way that you can to get him to understand you. And if not, then you got to do what you got to do for you. It sounds like you already independent, so you already got that in the bag. So, I hope it works out for you. <laughs> all right, now the baby's done telling them how to... 
take a nigga about his mama off his mama's nipple. Get him off the marble's nipple. Get the milk from behind the ears. My turn. So, um, this question, I don't think she want her name said, but she said, first of all, I'm a big fan of you guys. I wanted to ask if you're trying to pursue a relationship with someone younger than you, how would you go about doing that? It's a big age difference. I'm 20 and she's 18. <laughs> Stop, baby, don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> I want to pursue something with her, but it's hard trying to be on the same level because of her age. But age is just a number, right? I just want to show her I'm not like all the other niggas she dated in the past. Which one 20, which one 18? I'm assuming the stud is the 20 year old and the okay. 18 year old is the film. Y'all both babies. <laughs> Y'all both babies. like. Honestly and truly, at the age 20 and at the age 18, we may seem like we're, at that age, you may seem like you're mature enough to know exactly what you want, but the experience isn't there. Everybody got a goal that they're trying to meet, but you got to have that type of endurance in you. You got to have that type of, that strength in you, and you got to know exactly what you want. At this point, both of y'all are still too young to be trying to, Settle down. Now, I can't lie though, there's been people that met in the fifth grade and still together. But that's rare. And when you know something, when you want something, you're gonna get it and it's gonna come naturally. So, with me saying all of that, y'all need to, to, you know, wait on, <laughs> wait. On trying to, you know, be a power couple. Get to know each other right now. I know everybody is advertising shit on TV or reality shows. All of this is going on. It's like making it seem like you just have to be in a relationship. Be her friend. Be first. her friend first. That's like, how if the age difference is a problem for you. Get to know her, her more friend. so you can understand her. You don't want to mess up a friendship. Yeah trying to rush it to put a title on something that's probably not even meant, you know? Mm -hmm. So, take y'all time. 20 and 18 is not a big difference. Now, 25 and 62, that's a big age difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, give it time, wait, and don't rush, because you'll mess around and stress yourself out at a young age. I mean, if I could turn back, the hands of time when I was around 18 I was trying to pursue relationships thinking that's just what I wanted when I had other things other hobbies like mm -hmm. I play basketball and I'm damn good at it I could have been in WA NBA right now but I was too busy chasing girls and forgot what I could be doing that could be actually bringing in money you know so, and I yeah. was the same way. I cheered and danced my whole life, and I was very active. And then I had a baby, <laughs> and so I ended up having to work. Now I got somebody to take care of, and I got something to do. Which not saying that I could have still went to college and stuff like that, but shit just got different because my mind wasn't where it was. It was in the books, and it was on my um, sports and stuff like that, but. Then it got deferred. So, right. you know, take that time, get to know don't, yourself, don't rush to build put a title. relationships. You can build relationships with people, friendships, partnerships, whatever. But don't be in a rush to just put a title and lock somebody down and be like, "This is who you finna." To realize that ain't even what right. you probably want. You need to date, and you done spent all your good years. Y'all gonna be about thirty-five, and then realize how you be like, "Damn." I had signs back when she was 18 to leave her alone. Right. You know, found out you wasted all your good years chasing a false dream. Right. So get to know yourself, take your time, and know what's, you know, what's for you out there. Don't put your all into somebody that's too young in right. your eyes. In your eyes, right. 
And this is just our personal advice, y'all. So we not no professionals. We not no therapists, no psychologists, experience. or nothing like that. We just speaking based on our experiences and putting our personal opinions yeah, put, to the side. Like right. So it's nothing that we trying to tell you. This is what you need to do. This is what you gotta do. You gotta run out and go do this. No, you don't. You can take heed to it if you want to. You ain't got to. Hell, you can read a book and probably get better advice. Right. Who knows? But Y'all asked us for our opinion, so we're putting it out there. So, obviously, y'all honor it. Y'all trust something about us. Yeah. We trust our judgment. And we're not going to steer you in the wrong direction. And sorry, because y'all know every time we on camera, we tend to get tense with each other. But hell, we I didn't get mad at you. Girl, I was sitting over here looking like I just wanted to freaking punch you. Oh, I but I don't let her talk. On how. I let her talk because most of the time she just talked herself into a, a damn grave, okay? Then she's going to remember how. Get out my face. Mom, what did you do? You okay now? She took an a, a, a intermission to slap me, y'all. She wanted to fight off the camera. Y'all thought she was getting the food ready for the kids. No, I got I a bruise on my face. She's a liar. I'm just letting her say things the way she stated because we definitely have two ways of thinking. Opinions. Yeah. And the way I word things don't sit right in her little chest or in her ears, y'all. Right. And she always because you have to talk to me way. a certain type of way. I'm a certain That's type of woman. That's why I'm talking to the camera. I'm a certain type of woman. I like things done a certain way. And th that's another thing too. Like y'all gonna meet girls and guys or whoever. And they may be a certain type of way. But it's all about what you wanna accomplish with this person. Like it done took us how many years to get to know each other? And we steady growing and steady mm -hmm. getting to know each other. So... I mean, it's understanding, open communication. Yeah, and we started out never arguing. We used to be like, bro, we ain't gonna never argue. We ain't got nothing to argue about. We used to love each other. Like, I mean, we still love each other. We used to just be like, oh my God, I can never see myself arguing with you. Like, we just besties. But and that first it. argument, baby, baby, was intense. Intense. It was. And now every argument is pretty much intense because we both be trying to get each other to understand things. But one thing I can say about it, us, we are both understanding people. When I went on the rant about understanding earlier, I understand things in certain mind frames that you be in and she understands things in certain mind frames that you be in, but we both know that it's still all about growth. It's all about the communication, the commitment, and growth. When you got one ultimate goal, yeah. You're gonna meet it. Right. And our goal is to love, live, progress, and be happy. And just be together. <laughs> Regardless of what's going on. Right. That's gonna always happen. Sweetie. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, everything not gonna always be like glitz and glam and glittery and gold and shit. And we understand that. And me, I'm the type of person, like I said in the last video, I hold grudges to the death of me. Don't I, baby? Yes, and I'm trying to get her out of that because me, I like to let go. If it's not impacting my money, my family, or what's going on in my house, I try to let it go because it don't mean nothing to me. You're not getting in the way of nothing. Lily. She felt like if it's hurt her feelings in the past, I don't need it in my life. <laughs> she wants it out. She wants to rid herself of it. She's gonna cut her damn arm <laughs> off to get it out of her skin. That's Lily. And that's what I'm trying to get her out of. If it's hurt me, then it's no good for me. But I'm and telling I gotta you how get to, rid of it. To uh, what's the best word from it? Like We're just gonna say we're gonna use layman's terms. I'm trying to get her to dodge ever being hurt dodge any bullshit yes. that enemies that's dodge. a whole nother video though y'all because we've been talking to y'all for a long time i know right. but like she really tried to get me to be like numb her to the bullshit she get me to try to be like her but then numb when i am bullshit. numb to certain things then i'm bitter i don't want to be bitter you i just whether you 
You had a whole rent in the car on the way up here because I I'm evil. Better. I said you're evil. It's a damn difference. I just don't you're tolerate evil. bullshit. You're not bitter. I don't tolerate bullshit. And the, the most, the bullshit that I've been through with her, I ain't been through with nobody else. Like, I've always been the type of person, like, you do me wrong, boom, bye, boom. But with her, I actually been challenging myself. I stick in there. I fight it because this is, stop, baby. I'm listening, baby. What are you saying? Go. You know you somebody that, I feel like this turned into a counseling session. Oh Lord, I told y'all. That's why I told her before this story, story time, relationship advice shit started. I told her I was like, just give me my five questions so I can answer. But them you my started way. with me when you reverted was, to that one question and you put us in it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I said to her at the beginning, I said, Lily, I get my five questions and you get your own question because Lily likes to turn it into a debate. People just want to hear point of views. They don't want to hear an argument. Unless they negative. Now, you got some negative people that want to see us mad at each other. And see how we but operate. We mad at each other. I'm just telling you how But Lily tends to try to have debates. But okay, baby. our kids is thirsty. So we got to go. We love y'all. Make sure you like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. subscribe man. And we'll talk to you guys on another video.